Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In this video, we're going to be taking you through Maudsley's test. And this is a test designed to see whether or not our patient presents with lateral epicondylitis, also known as tennis elbow, which is a tendinopathy of the common extensor tendon, which is responsible for the finger and wrist extensors. So let's go through the test. So the examiner has one hand supporting the elbow and the forearm. And if you wanted to be even more sure, you can place either one or two fingers at the lateral epicondyle or covering the common extensor tendon. Our other hand is going to be placed uh, with one finger distally to the proximal interphalangeal joint, the PIP, of our patient's third digit. So let's just go through that one more time. The examiner's finger is going to be distal to the PIP of our patient's third digit, like so. From here, we're going to ask our patient to extend the third digit, and we're going to resist that extension movement isometrically. We're going to hold this for three to five seconds, and that is Maudsley's test. So a positive outcome in this test is a reproduction of our patient's symptoms, which might mimic lateral epicondylitis, and that might be at the lateral epicondyle, at the common extensor tendon, and in some cases over the muscle belly of the wrist extensors and the finger extensors in the posterior aspect of the forearm. So do we use this test in clinical practice? Absolutely, we use it all the time. We may also use it alongside Cozen's test, which is also designed to test for lateral epicondylitis. And that completes our video. Thank you as always for watching, and we'll see you again soon here on Clinical Physio.